Hello everybody and welcome to Mevian. Um, today we are playing Minecraft and we have a little tutorial here for you. Yeah, so you see the tracker on the right side of the screen. Uh, it tracks in real time how many kills uh, Mercurius has for these specific mobs. So we'll spawn some spiders and he'll yep. kill them. And you'll see the uh, score for spiders increases. So yeah, we'll show you how to do this in your world. Yeah, this only works for a single player yeah. because it yeah. can only track one person. Uh, yeah, one specific person. Yeah, and so you also need uh, you need the uh, command blocks to do this. So you need to be able to access uh, creative mode. And yeah, see ya. Okay, so we have removed the list now, and now we are going to show you how to do it. We'll start off uh, with typing in a few commands, and then we'll move on to some redstone and command blocks. Uh, so yeah. Okay, the first uh, uh, command we're going to use is uh, to create a objective called uh, uh, death count. Uh, the name is what's going to uh, be displayed on the top of the tracker on the right later, so you can choose whatever you want, I guess. Yeah, uh, so we're creating a, a dummy objective in the scoreboard. Um, and we're naming it death count so that it will uh, display as death count as the title there. Yeah. Uh, death is the uh, name uh, used to refer to this objective by uh, other commands. So when we use it later, we're gonna use death instead. But uh, death count this was gonna be displayed on the screen. Yeah, you can change death count to kills or whatever. Yeah, if you want. So uh, uh, we'll okay. move on. The second command is to make this command appear on the screen uh, using set to display. Yeah, so I'll type scoreboard objective set display side sidebar deaths. Yeah. So, uh, once again, death. death. Yeah. Death. Yeah. Death. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, so, uh. we are referring to the uh, dummy variable we created before. Yeah. Uh, you can make this appear on the tab screen as well if you want. Uh, then type uh, list instead of sidebar. Uh, yeah. Okay. So the third uh, command is to create fake players uh, to use on the screen. Uh, yeah, Right now there is no uh, tracker on the screen because there's no variables on it, but yeah, we'll create them right now. Yeah, so we'll um, create a fake player for zombies in the death variable and set it to zero because we don't have any zombies kills yet. So yeah, you can see there, uh, death yep. count zombies zero. We could yep. set that to 10 or whatever. Yeah, if you already got some kills, you can go to escape then statistics and go to mobs and check how many you got and yeah. enter that value instead yeah I killed one spider we saw there so yeah, yeah. I, uh, when, <laughs> when I kill spiders uh, I can enter one there okay yeah. so uh, the next yeah command. we'll just do this for uh, zombies right now just yeah you just change quicker. it to skeletons or spiders or yeah you do exactly the same thing for every villagers team. or whatever okay yeah. so uh, the third fourth fourth I guess uh, command is to add a team for each uh, mob yeah so we'll, so we'll do that. scoreboard teams add uh, zombies yeah so there we added that new team yeah and each mob you uh, add must have uh, a team by itself yeah so you create one team for uh, skeletons and one for spiders and so, so on, on. Yeah. yeah. So and now next. we'll actually yeah. add those players to the teams, right? Yep. Uh, so we'll type scoreboard teams join. We'll join the zombie uh, player, which we created, the fake player, into the zombies team that we yep. created. And, and now we'll uh, change the options for this team uh, to change the colors. Teams uh, option. Uh, so we'll change the color option for the zombies team to dark uh, green. Yeah, it looks like a zombie. Uh, okay. Yeah, so you can see in the sidebar there. It changes yeah, to dark choose, green. Choose whatever color you think it fits. So yeah. And next is to uh, add objectives to. Uh, track your amount of zombie kills to this uh, fake uh, dummy objective by adding uh, 
stat uh, kill entity objectives for yeah. each mob. So I'll do scoreboard objectives add zombies. Uh, so for the zombies, we'll add stat dot kill entity dot zombie. So we'll uh, do the entity zombie there because we haven't yeah. actually. Uh, set it to do the zombie mod mob. Yeah, and if you remove zombie from that uh, uh, command and press tab right after uh, stats dot kill entity, you can see each mob that you are able to track on this tracker. Yeah, you can see we see slimes, uh, mushroom, cows, and everything. Yeah, pretty much everything. Okay. Okay. And now we're gonna move on to the more complicated part, I guess. Yeah, that is the uh, redstone and command block, right? Yep. Okay, so, so we'll um, see you there. Okay, so we have built this uh, redstone clock right here. Yeah, it uses the fill command to uh, replace uh, stone, and uh, the lower one uses the fill command to replace stones. It finds in an area uh, 30 blocks in the negative side direction with the redstone blocks, and the one on the side does the opposite. And replaces redstone blocks with stones. Yeah, so they, uh, so this is ticking between uh, stone and redstone like 20 times a second. So yeah, a lot. You can't yeah. see it happening, but yeah. it actually happens. Uh, so this one makes it stone, and this one makes it back to redstone. Yeah. So if over we over. try and say hi, it will just say hi a hundred times in chat. Okay. Yeah, and the one on the top here was the one we used uh, in the beginning of the video to track uh, Mercury's spider kills. Yeah, so we'll uh, just do that for zombies. But yeah, well you do now. it for every mob you want to track. You do one of these individually. Yeah, so... Uh, Put do you have any uh, stone? Block. Yeah, you have stone. Okay, yeah. so I'll just write scoreboard. If I can spell correctly. Yep. Players, operation, zombies, deaths. Death. It's Is just it? death. Yeah, it's death. Uh, Mercurius underscore and zombies. Yeah. Yup. And now we'll let Mercurius kill some zombies. Yeah, see if it works. <laughs> yeah, you yeah. can see. His uh, death count uh, increases now for every <laughs> yeah, for every zombie he kills. Yep. And it's important that you put this in uh, the uh, spawn chunks on your world. Uh, if you don't, this will only work when you're close to it because uh, redstone signals, uh, like the chunks, they, like, they aren't loaded if you're far away from them. But the spawn chunks are always loaded. Uh, to find those, you can like check a guide on YouTube or something. Yeah. Okay, so uh, now you just repeat the process that we did with uh, every mob, like skeletons and everything, and uh, yeah. you should have it up in your uh, world. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, we'll see you in the next, the next video. video. Thank you. Bye bye. Yeah. Bye. <laughs>